So we're leaving Morsey in a couple of days, but um, I thought we'd do a little van tour of George and Shauna's van before we go. I'm George. Hi, I'm Shauna. And welcome to our van. It's a long wheelbase uh, crafter, uh, 2.5, and we've had it for about three and a half years. Last year, we then decided to convert it uh, and use it for our honeymoon, and then also to come out and do a season in Morsey. Didn't quite get it finished, so as you'll see, but uh, nearly. So, uh, this is the kitchen. Uh, this is an IKEA worktop. The only downside is a bit heavy. Got our camper oven. So we have, which we use quite a lot. It's got two dual hob and a nice little handy oven as well. So it's uh, good Sweet. enough for pizza. And we even cooked Christmas dinner in it, so we did. Oh, nice. Brownies too. And brownies, yes. We went for a week of CR50, 12 volt. Uh, it also uh, works as a freezer. Loads so of actually, space in there. Huh? Yeah, so it's working as a freezer at the moment. Uh, yeah. You can then also have it as a fridge, a right, freezer, okay. or a full <laughs> fridge. So. Uh, we found it actually quite good on the batteries as well. We actually found IKEA quite useful because we've got this little shelves <coughs> from them as well. A little hook for the, the tea towel and for the, uh, the kettle and these as well. So uh, we wanted to use the, most of our space, worktop space for cooking. Uh, and also we've got two swivel seats at the front. So we swivel them around and we can, uh, one person can eat here. You know, it gets the luxury of the, the city of the sofa. We wanted to have a bathroom, so uh, we also then incorporated a, a drying room. So one of the vents from the heating is in the bathroom as well. We've got a full shower, we'll pull out shower taps. And we also found uh, from Ikea, uh, nice little sticky things that stick to the plastic for towels and also a loo roll holder as well. We went for compost and toilet. We found uh, it's quite, it's been quite good. We have a great, the urine runs into the grey waste. Uh, and then we just, whenever it needs emptying, I get the dirty job of emptying it. Lights, we actually went for factory lights, not uh, out of design, but pure necessity. Uh, we sort of ran out of time on the build. We didn't have the wiring and the lights up. So we actually went to B&M and found some LED lights, which are all individual push lights. Then uh, we actually, we actually light them. You can turn them on and off to whatever level of lighting you want. And uh, yeah. Oh. You have to have some mood lighting in. So uh, the mood lighting is quite good. Uh, if you only want a little bit of light at night, so we just put the fairy lights on and there's plenty of see your art and move around. So. Nice. Sexy so, time. you got to have some oh, yeah. sexy time. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Water uh, on a slung uh, is 100. We then found out because of the frosts, as everybody's here has found out, it freezes. So uh, we installed a two 25 litres in, inside the van so I can, I've got a little tap and turn from external to internal. So water tank uh, filling point is not exactly where I wanted it. I have actually got a filler with a, a wide bore pipe that's supposed to go into the top of the tank but uh, I won't name names but it didn't come that way. It came with uh, this here is the fill and the drain. So it is so you just have to turn the little tap uh, once you put the hose on. Uh, it is a bit restrictive here in Europe because some of the uh, flop blowers they don't actually have like a, a hose. They've got like a petrol pump style uh, nozzle. It is what it is. Waste tank, drains there as well. It's a uh, 60 liter, uh, and that's also for the, the wet waste from the toilet. Uh, and it's quite handy. See, it's polluting the environment. And then we've also got a Sureflow uh, water pump. That's a little fill gauge for that as well. Under the seats is the Propex heater. The consumer unit for the 240 is there as well. And then I've got a double plug uh, there and I've got a single here. And then uh, on one of the double plugs, I have uh, my uh, power supply unit. Right. Which charges my batteries through my uh, D250 and the Smart Pass. And we've also got a wheel uh, heater, okay. water heater. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's basically the internal version of yours. And it's LPG gas, you, you know, is it? Yeah, on the slung gas tank. Uh, okay. By for a third litre. So it's kind of handy. So you've got the little gauge. Oh, nice. Because of the regulations, you have to have an external fill point. We, we did have gas bottles, but uh, with the differences between the UK and Europe, uh, it's easier to have an underslung tank. It's very cheap. 
And also this is the, the version of a, I think he's on Alex fan. Oh yeah. He's got the up to date version of this. This doesn't have a frost protection on it. We also wanted a, a wardrobe, so we've got a full size wardrobe. Use bottom for food, extra food like tins and stuff, some alcohol. Yeah. Uh, we've got the heater and um, just hanging space for clothes. And of course a mirror for Sean for doing her hair. We've got a big garage, we've got a full size double bed. Uh, and if you want to come on. Two rows of five storage bins. That we bought them from Argos and they're actually, the shelves were then designed so they fitted. That side yeah. window is good as well, that's nice. Yeah. Uh, we also have a sliding window on the, the side door as well. Mm -hmm. So it gives a bit of a through draft along with the sky. sky mm -hmm. as well. So we'll go and show you the garage. Yeah, let's go and see. We have to excuse the mess. We haven't packed it properly. We've put everything in here. We've got all our outdoor gear. We've got all climbing gear uh, for the summer. We've got our skis. Two internal water tanks are in here. Uh, and also the pump and the accumulator. Stop the pulse signals on that side as well. They're just handy for little things that uh, we don't really need and use a lot of. They're always handy to have some extra storage. Very happy with the moon chairs as well. So moon chairs, what are they? Chair. See other footage for moon chairs. <laughs> Did you put the, the uh, roof rack on then and the, and the yes. box? Uh, it's quite handy to do a sprinter and crafter because the holes are pre-drilled. It's a little bung in them, so you just have to prise the bung out, uh, get the right diameter of bolts. We only actually put two sections up, we've actually got a third section. It would have just took up too much of the roof, which we want to put solar panels up. We then put some storage up there as well. So that's for the gloves, laptop charge cables, everything like that, which we use a lot of. That's our little cape topper from our wedding. You can see on the front of it. Yes, yeah, so this is a very unique colour. This was a uh, hand rolled by Sean and myself. It took us about a month because of the weather in Northern Ireland. We're actually quite happy with the finish yeah. uh, for little foam high density rollers. Long sale, garden paint. It comes in um, numerous colours. Uh, yeah, the water freezing, drains freezing, uh, learning to live with maybe your, your pump blowing the fuse because the, the water has frozen in the filter. Maybe a bit more insulation and it maybe a heater pad on the tank. One thing that we are putting in is a diesel heater as well for next year, not just the gas heater. Mainly to heat the garage uh, and also then stop our internal tanks freezing and I want to run it along the pipes as well. We noticed yours is quite good and it warmed up a lot quicker than the gas. Yeah, I was going to say, how, how is the gas heater then? The gas heater is good. Uh, ours is only a two kilowatt one. Uh -huh. So uh, I don't think when we were thinking about the heating, we thought we'd ever end up spending so long in the Alps. Deciding when you want to go skiing, not dictated by, oh, you're only here for a week. Learning to ski <laughs> was good as well. We both learned to ski. And meeting good friends as well. Yeah. Uh, meeting other van lifers. <laughs> hey guys, it's me again. Hello. Oh, I wouldn't know I'm to Josh on that one. <laughs> yeah. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And ding my bell, because you won't even know if I've uploaded a video otherwise. Cheers guys. See you on the next one.